Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Anna Morfides here with Monday Hearts Counseling and in today's video we're actually going to talk about a question that arose from one of my previous videos which was titled how to get over someone and I was talking in the video about how we attract a mate to our soul at any given point in time. So every time our soul evolves or it doesn't evolve, it does attract energies that are aligned with where you are. And I do understand this concept of is it really a soulmate every time you meet somebody? Like every connection that you do meet into your life, that you manifest into your life? Because this person was saying that, yes, they are manifesting people into their lives, but they don't feel quite the same. And I'm not talking about that feeling that I describe in other videos where you don't really know what the feeling is you just want that feeling from that person i'm talking about the feeling of when you meet a soulmate that is more aligned with the recognition of each other's spirits because you know how you meet certain people and uh, you're attracted to them or you might not be attracted to them but then there's different levels of attraction and then there's those people that you meet once in a while that the attraction, it's almost like it's remembered. Like, it's almost like your energies come together and uh, you can literally feel the vibration between the two of you. And it's almost like uh, the love and the memories are reignited they re-recognize each other because we do travel in soul families and according to brian weiss the author of only love is real and miracles happen and other books such as many masters many lives he is a regression therapist he is a phd he's a doctor top in his psychology program because he was literally the, the pioneer of regression therapy and he took people into their previous lifetimes and he determined through all of the cases that he was able to regress into previous lifetimes. Uh, we have at least three to four soulmates. That does not include any twin flames or any other karmic connections. We're purely talking about soulmate connections that you and this person sign soul contracts with before you enter this beautiful place called earth and you predetermine when you're going to cross each other's paths and you just don't know when that's going to be or for how long it's going to be so yes it is correct when you say but anna they don't feel the same i'm not the same attracted to them uh, or I don't feel like I want to make uh, love to this person, even though I did everything you told me to do and I manifested somebody else into my life. I don't feel that I want to be with them in a physical way. And I totally get that. But don't focus on that part. Focus on the fact that you can actually manifest, right? Like, so... If you say, why did I manifest someone that doesn't feel like my soulmate? Because a soulmate is literal recognition of each other's soul on a deeper level, more than just me vibrating, say, on the human scale of vibration at 700 hertz, where it's um, love and acceptance and somebody else in that vibration meeting me. So then we both have a relationship where it's based on love and acceptance. I'm not just talking about that. I'm also talking about like deeper soul level connection. We do have three or four soulmates. So if you broke up with someone and you're trying to get over them and you're manifesting somebody else, A, remember to always do your work so you can uh, change your vibrational level. So if there is another soulmate that you have made a contract with, they are able to come in to meet you. Because if you don't change your vibration, you're not going to be able to attract them into your life and into your vortex. And um, B, oh, I just lost my train of thought here. Ah, attracting soulmates. 
Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And B was going to be, remember to focus on why that manifestation happened for you in the first place. So say in the particular case of um, the person that approached me, they literally manifested everything that they had put down on their piece of paper as far as a vision board goes for a um, male they wanted to attract into their lives minus a thing or two, which is usually how it works. You know, you get closer and closer and closer. And yes, this person might not feel the same as a soulmate, but that doesn't mean that you can't enjoy this person to the capacity that you can. If you don't feel like you want to be physical with them, that's totally okay. Do everything else with them that feels good. You know, if it's walking or letting them take you out on a date or having just having connection even with you know, someone who is the opposite sex of you or the same sex, whatever you're attracted to, just even having that connection and that feeling, just sit with the feeling that this person is producing you, is producing from within you or helping you feel the things that are already existing from inside of you, right? That gives you more power. Allow the person to highlight the things that you want to experience based on your experience before that you don't want to have more of and just have the knowing that by enjoying what you have in front of you right now, you don't have to commit to anything or anyone, right? You can wait for another soulmate to come in because they will come in. I mean, how often, that's three or four major soulmates in our lives. That's a lot, actually. I don't know how, many you think you have experienced before, but to have three or four major relationships in your life, that's uh, a really big number. So just have the knowing and the trust and the faith that if this person doesn't feel like a soulmate, somebody else will. Just enjoy what this specific connection is giving you. Right? Like enjoy everything that this connection is bringing to you with the knowing that you want to keep trucking along to find something that felt more aligned to what an actual uh, soulmate connection is. I hope that made sense. That was a lot of uh, soulmate wording in there. And I hope that that um, yeah that it was clear and concise and was able to be understood and remember that everything is always happening for you so even if there is a connection that doesn't feel like the one that you're trying to get over just take what you enjoy from it and hold on to that it's easy to spiral and go down that road of but it doesn't feel the same but I don't want to kiss him when I'm sober and I don't want to uh, be physically intimate with them and then you focus on what you don't want, don't do that or do it and, you know, just make that part of your vision board. Like put, put, the, put the intention to what you want to experience more of and enjoy this person for what they're giving you right now, right? But not in an attachment way, in a way that is free. You can love other people freely without having your wounds get in the way because when you feel that attachment for attention from just anyone that's when you know you're probably going to get more of those negative feelings about them not being someone you're trying to get over in the first place because you're trying to fill a void. You have everything you need right inside of you. You are whole and complete. The only reason why it didn't work out with your ex anyway is because you were both highlighting to each other uh, wounds and things that needed to heal. And if people don't make the conscious decision to heal them, then you can't be together. Like even if you heal your stuff, you still can't. That person has free will. If they choose not to look at it, run away from it, what whatever it is, maybe maybe you're not what they're looking for either. I I'm, I'm not really sure. I wish I could pick the brain of people that actually ghost, run away, and understand why they really do it, and what the reasons behind is. Even though there's a few that I've been 
told by masculines because I interview masculines for this reason and some say that they're actually too coward to face the truth it's just a lot easier to tell someone that they're not ready for this connection others have said that um when you the way that you act towards someone is a clear indication of whether or not you want them to be a part of your life so if you're they were saying that uh what if i call my, my my girlfriend crazy or this and that it actually means that i don't want to deal with her so it's just a lot easier to label her which makes it okay for me not to deal with her and then i've heard other things such as people just not being in the headspace and being ready yes they recognize that wow you also feel like a soulmate they recognize the connection but they're just not in the right headspace for it so whatever reason it is that the masculine has and this moment it's it's the same end result for us right so just have faith that there's going to be another one please don't ever lose faith don't ever get stuck on one person because that's how you're not going to allow another one and just only do the things that you want with whoever you have manifested into your life and and if you try something and it doesn't feel good say you have tried to um be intimate with them and it doesn't feel good don't go down that road of shame as well how could i do that how could i let him touch me i kind of knew why did i try it well it's because sometimes we really just want to have the experience and that's okay too like you have to be okay with anything that you want to do or try in this life that's the only way you're going to know what they're that's the only way you're going to know if this is right for you or not anyways it's by sitting with the end result so be impeccable with your word if you say i'm gonna go over there and i'm gonna try to be intimate with this guy even though he doesn't feel like my ex just stay true to your word go and do that and enjoy it and if it doesn't feel good don't go home and have all these negative thoughts about it that doesn't help you that's just gonna bring you down again and make you feel sad it's okay i mean we're meant to have pleasure with each other anyways and if it feels not right then you just don't do it again okay and and say that you go and you do it again that's okay too just be gentle with yourself no matter what it is that you decide to do please be gentle with yourself especially if it doesn't involve hurting others like obviously if i'm gonna go and decide to kill someone that's a different story but if i'm just gonna go and try to decide to see if this can be fulfilling or not don't go down that road of feeling shameful and guilty allow yourself to experience everything everything that comes in front of you because you just don't know um yeah so i'm gonna stop my video right here thank you so much for watching again and all your questions and comments uh, they really do mean a lot to me and i'm looking forward to making more please do like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already uh and with my love and gratitude always remember everything is happening for you enjoy everything that comes your way because when we are grateful for what we have right now it is a sure way to get more until next time